Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we want to make a system for changing the pivot points of an object. Even an object with multiple children or an object which has a different pivot point. Okay, let's do this. All right, okay. For example, we have a 3D model in here which has a lot of ingredients in here as you can see and the point is the pivot point of this 3d model is not in the center of the 3d model so uh, for example if we want to rotate this 3d model in our scene and uh, for example in the runtime during our simulator or the game we will see something like this and the you know the position of this model is not correct because it is here the pivot point is here so the position in fact is here as you can see the position of this 3d model and 3d uh, small models are the not correct as well so uh, in the unity we can change the pivot points from here to center but what we can do in during the game we need to put our uh, pivot point in the center of our 3d model but how we can do it for doing this, uh, we need to have a C sharp script and uh, create a system to change the pivot point of this 3D model and put it in the center of our model. But what is the mechanism? In fact, we need to find out the center of the 3D model with calculating the positions of all uh, ingredients and uh, find the center uh, between these vector trees for example uh, we have this 3d model we have this one this one and 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 all of them it's about 751 i think something like this for example we need to keep them and find the center position of it how we can do it calculating the middle position middle point between these vector trees but as you can see this 3d model has 0 0 0 position but it is not correct because the 0 0 position is here not here how we can uh, do it initially we need to find out the real position of this mesh not this object for doing that uh, I found out how uh, how we can do it if we add a collider for example box collider as you can see the box collider added to the mesh it's not related uh, to the transform the collider added to the mesh right okay so we can understand the position of the collider in fact is the position of our mesh if we copy these numbers for transform then we will put zero 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 in here but it has to be reverse for example zero and minus and minus look at this that's it the 3d mesh is exactly in the middle of our 3d model so we need to do the same method for all of these ingredients 
Okay, I put them to back to the correct one and uh, the default one. Okay. Now uh, we need a system to say, okay, try to add a collider to all of these ingredients, then put the uh, position of the collider as a position of the 3D model, then remove, to, uh, remove the box collider. Okay, we will create a system uh, C-sharp script and call it pivot changer. Now open it and go to the visual studio all right i made this script so i want to uh, explain what is the uh, you know workflow right first i want to explain uh, what are the our uh, variables we need to have a public transform target model it is exactly that model we want to at uh, that model, we want to change the pivot point of it, right? This one is the list of transform. So we will say uh, these uh, are, uh, you know, children of target sorry target model perfect it is the final one uh, final result as a new object and this is sorry these are vector tree of position of model objects perfect in here we we call this function change object objects pivot and this is our function in here we will say first okay and try to add all children of the target model into the list of model so in this with this for each we will add uh, all 751 children's of the model one to this list model i need to add this model one inside of this is perfect okay the next step is uh, it tries to create a new game object and call it okay center point and uh, put it inside of the center point game object all right then uh, i want to put the transform uh, center pointer uh, parent as a parent of the model zero in fact I want to, for example, uh, let me show you what is going on. Center point, it will be like this. I want to say, okay, put the center pointer as a children of model one, right? Something like this. Or we can say, okay, put the center pointed transform parent equal target model. It doesn't matter. It is the same. And in here, we, uh, in this part, we will say, okay, let's to add a component of box glider. Let's to add the position of the box glider. It is a center, center, as you can see. For example, the box one and box collider. This one. Let's to put these variables vector three to the points. And then, okay, destroy box collider. We don't need to have box collider. The important point is we need to have the points vector trees. 
We don't need to have the box clicker. Right. Then we will say, okay, try to put the, and uh, try to find the middle um, point between these points. In fact, in this uh, part of our script, we try to find the middle uh, and center point of the, our 3D model. As you can see, we will say, okay, uh, vector tree find center of the transforms. Li and now we will add our points list of vector trees. Then we will say, okay, it is the first of one. Look at this center and the size. The size is vector tree zero zero zero, right? Then try to say, uh, from points one, until the uh, the last point and try to find it and uh, as a result we can uh, have a vector tree position as a center point then when we uh, find out our center uh, vector tree position we will say okay Try to set the local position of the center pointer to uh, equal this vector tree, right? Then we will say, okay, uh, try to remove the parent of the center pointer. So center pointer dot transform dot parent equal null. Then we will say, okay, now target model parent is equal center pointer, and after that. We will say center pointer dot transform that position equals zero. It is optional. You can say okay, that position you want, but it's better to be in the uh, uh, zero zero zero, so your calculation will be correct. Now, I want to test. Right. Only thing is drag and drop the model one inside of this one and then we will see what's going on here okay let's do play that's it 751 ingredients and 751 vector trees and finally we will uh, it has it has created a new center pointer object and put our 3D model as the children of it. As you can see, it is the pivot and it is exactly the middle of our 3D model in runtime. But if you want to do it uh, in the editor and uh, you will see uh, the final result forever you can say okay my friend and context menu and call it change objects pivot if you do it and come back to the editor if you click on your pivot changer and right click on it, you will see change objects pivot. And if you click it, that's it. It works. And it has been saved forever. Look at this. In runtime, it is this one. And if you stop your game, it is this one. It is forever. Perfect. Now, uh, I want to explain the next uh, mode of this system. Uh, for example, right now we have a lot of ingredients and children. So, but let's to talk about something easier. If we have this 3D model, as you can see, it is just an object, but the pivot point of it is different this system our current system doesn't work for this one because we don't have any children we don't have anything else but we can 
add our uh, box glider to this and find out the vector tree. I made this system with this one. Exactly the same method without some parts. For example, we create a new object, it's called center point and center pointer tra transform dot parent is equal to target model parent right so we then need to have model one models uh, zero parent and we don't need to have this part as well so we will say okay add a, a box collider to target model because we don't have any children so add, add the box collider to target model and uh, try to find the center uh, vector tree and add it to the points and then and remove the box glider from target model and after that we don't need to have this part because we already have only one vector tree and in fact we don't need uh, to find out the center pointer the center pointer is exactly the center vector tree of the box collider as far as I mentioned in the beginning, it is very easy. So, the center pointer dot transform dot local position is equal points zero. The this vector tree, and the same method like above. Try to remove the parent of center pointer. Try to put the target model parent equal center pointer transform and the position is zero. I want to add this function to here and change this this one. Public void change single object pivot. Come back to our scene. Right. Only thing is I need to put it at zero and in here it has to be zero as well and also uh, the target model is this one I call it model 2 right okay now I right click on it and change single object pivot that's it Oh, yeah, sorry. I need to make it from again. It has to be zero, zero, zero. I said it in the beginning, but I forgot to do it. Okay, now as you can see, it is zero, zero, zero. And I remove the box glider and remove this point. Okay. All right. Now call this function again. Perfect. It works well. Great. It is model two and it is model one. All right, guys. You have changed your uh, pivot point or even if you want to make something better you can customize this vector tree and so the ve and the pivot point can be anywhere in here I've decided to put the pivot point at the center of object you can say okay set the pivot point in you know somewhere else for example here or here anywhere you want so you can add uh, you can find with a solution you can find a position of this point and you will say okay let's put the uh, position of the center pointer to here that's it all right this video is finished I want to ask you if you like these types of tutorials about Unity and XR, AR and VR, please subscribe my channel 
and uh, like these videos.